All right, guys, uh, welcome to today's webinar. It's 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, exactly, so we're going to get things rolling. Thank you very much for joining us today. This is going to be our first webinar out of a four webinar series, as you guys know. Um, of course, you'll get some emails about the second, third, and fourth coming up, um, but it's already in the calendar link that you received. So you should have those times and dates ready to go. It's going to happen once every two weeks, Mondays, 10 a.m. Pacific time. So today's webinar is going to be 15 minutes on the dots. Uh, I'll try to keep it brief. I'll try to keep it rolling. Um, if any questions do pop up, please write them in the chat. If I have time at the end, I'll get to them. If I don't, we'll make sure to email you or we'll put it in a FAQ at the, uh, in the YouTube link. And we'll, of course, send the YouTube link to you guys so you can have that as reference and pause it and go through the flow as necessary. So today we're going to talk about scraping job listing sites. Um, this is a use case that's pretty popular and we've had it for a while. So I just want to quickly show you how you do that on Hexomatic, on an automated flow. And then a couple of tips and tricks for the Hexofy, which is pretty cool, um, just for the sites that are kind of a little bit harder to scrape. But I'll give you a little insight on that as well. So let's get things rolling. Um, I, I just randomly actually Googled top you know, job listing sites. Uh, Indeed popped up, of course, obviously. Um, and I found a really cool Forbes article. Um, and I jumped in and there was a site uh, and that's called guru.com. It's a little bit more freelancey, but um, still operates the same exact way. So it's relevant. So how we're going to set up the flow today is it's going to be a two-step scraping process. The first thing we want to do is we want to tell the bot how to scrape the actual job listing itself. So here I'm in a guru. I'm just going to type in, for example, UX UI as the keyword. Oops, sorry. Uh, UX UI as the keyword. Let's see what pops up. All right, so it brought 33 results. This is sort of, you know, the list. And I'm going to jump into the first one directly. So this is basically the page that we want to scrape. This is all the data that we want to gather, right? So um, the name, uh, fixed price, uh, all of the different skills that are required, Android development, app development, so on, and of course the description itself. But we don't want to do it one by one. We want to get all of them in one chunk, and I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to tell the bot what we want to scrape off of this site, off of this one job listing, so one listing. Then we're going to set up a second scraper that's going to actually take all of the different URLs from the list site and feed it into this second scraper, which is going to take all of this data and pull it out. So let me show you how that works on Hexomatic. So first things first, we're just going to grab this URL right here. So this is what we want to scrape, right? We're going to jump into Hexomatic. On the left side here, we're going to do scraping recipe. So recipe is when we want to teach the bot what we want to scrape, right? So we're going to teach the bot. I'm going to click on create new here on the top left. It's going to ask me to plug in the URL. I'm going to go into full stack, just to make sure I grab everything that I need. While it's doing that, I'm going to rename the file. Let's call it guru uh, single page, for example. And it's going to load in. So once it loads in like that, now we have to choose what we want to pull. So first thing we want is the name. So we'll click on that, select single. Single select because it's only one. It's already the listing page. Single select. That's going to be the name. On the right side here, it always pops up how you want to define it. First of all, how do we want to name it? So this is the column name. We're going to call this uh, job. And it's going to ask you the type, basically. So what, what do you want from it? In this case, it's a text. So we're just going to click on text. On the bottom, it always brings the sample value. In this case, full stack dev UI UX web slash apps. So yes, it's correct. All good. And I'm going to click on save. So that's the first element. Second element is we want the price. I'm going to click on that. Single select. I'm going to scroll down here. So property name. This is going to be pay. Call it pay. And again, I'm going to go from unset to text. Double check. That's correct. The sample value. Save. Um, and then we want the skills. So Android development, app development, iOS development, and so on. I'm going to click on that. In this case, I'm going to do select all. So it's not single select. I want all of them. So select all. There you go. Marked green. One, two, three, four. That is correct. Scroll down. Four items. That's right. We're going to call this skills. And again, this is going to be a text. Double check. Android development sample value is correct. Save. Last but not least. Of course, we want the description. 
click on the description box, single select, marked in green, you can see it. Yep, good to go. So here, instead of property name four, we're gonna just call this description. Again, this is gonna be text. And the sample is correct, save. Okay, once we got this done, I know that when it comes to the one job listing, it's pulling all of the data points that I want, right? It's gonna have the name, the price, all the skills that are relevant, and the description. And I'm just gonna save this. So when you save it, it's gonna pop up here. There it is, Google, Google uh, sorry, Guru single page. So that is gonna be the single page scraper. Now, I'm gonna come back to my site here. So this is, I'm done with this. I'm gonna go back. When I go back, so this is the list. Now what I wanna do is I wanna feed all of these URLs, right? This link and this link and this link and this link, all of those different links, we wanna feed it into this workflow. So that, that the one, the scrape the scraper that we already set up runs the same recipe over and over and over again on these different links. So how we do that is I just grab, I'm just gonna go from the beginning. So it's very, very clear that you can do this inside of um, Hexomatic as well. So I'm just gonna go back to the main jobs page. So here we haven't searched anything yet. So I'm just gonna grab that. I'm gonna plug it that create new again. So scraping recipe, create new, plug that into Hexomatic, full stack, and then preview. I'm gonna start naming this guru listing page so that I know that's the listing page. So it's gonna load this listing page. Now here, it doesn't have the UX UI yet, so I wanna plug that in. I wanna search for the keyword UX UI before I start scraping all of the elements, right? So I'm gonna click on this search area as you can see here. I can do it inside of Hexomatic. I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna click on the type button, type, because I wanna type in some words. Type, input text, UX slash UI, proceed. And you can already see that in that box, there's that UX UI already typed in. So the bot typed it in for me. Now I wanna click the search button to make sure it's running that. So I'm gonna click on that button and click. When I do that, it's gonna reload the page. It's gonna write in UX UI, it's gonna click search, and it's gonna reload the page, bringing already the UX UI pages that I'm looking for, the listings that I'm looking for. It already did. As you can see, the first one is the same, full stack dev, UX UI web apps, which is what we just saw, right? If I go on here, you'll see that. UX, UI, enter, there it is. So it's already, so this list right here is the same list as I have already here. So that's the list I wanna grab. And how I'm gonna do it here is quite straightforward. I'm gonna click on that link button, boom. Select all in this case, because I wanna pull all of the links. And on the right side here, property name, we're gonna call this job link and where it says type, instead of leaving it unset or text, because if I leave it as text, it's gonna pull the text, I'm gonna change that type to link URL, link URL, okay? And as soon as I change that to link URL, you'll see in the sample value here, it has slash job slash full stack da da da. So it actually brought the URL. And there's 20 items that it found. So all of those, all of these different items, all of them, every single link will be now scraped. So I'm gonna save that right, that's 20 items, and you're ready to go. So what this is gonna do once again is this is only gonna scrape the URLs of the listings, and then I'm gonna feed that into the scraper that I just set up that will then scrape the actual listing page for the data points that I'm looking for. So I'm just gonna save this. And once these are saved, so I have the single page and I have the listing page ready to go. So right now I'm ready. Now I'm gonna go into workflow and I'm gonna connect them together, feed them into each other, and, and we're off. So I'm gonna pop into workflow here, top left corner, create new. As soon as you say create new, it's gonna bring this little search bar here, so it's asking you what you want me to do. On the right side, instead of starting with an automation, we're gonna start with scraping recipes right here on the right, and click on that. That's gonna bring all of your recipes that you already set up. So in this case, I want to, the listing page first, right? So this is gonna be the URL list, and then plus, and then the single page. The single page is gonna ask, what's my source? So where am I taking my URLs from? If I open that up, job link was what we named it, if you guys remember. So I'm gonna say job link. So basically what this is doing is this first one is going to scrape all of the URLs off of the listing page. 
The second one is scraping each individual page listing for the data points that I want. And it's taking that first one as the source for the second one. Very, very easy. Here, I'm just going to call this Guru Scraper. Top right, bottom right corner here, continue, run now. And that's it. It's running. Very, very straightforward. So once it's run, I already ran this just like I showed you. Once it's ran and finished, you click on the export button here, Google Sheets, and what you'll end up with is something like this. Boom. So here are the different links that it scraped from the first one, fed into the second one, and then the second one was title, the pay, the skills, and the job description. So very straightforward. And as you can see, if I just scroll down here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. So it scraped every single one off of the entire listing page and just keeps going and going and going. And again, this is very easy to set up. Um, I, it's just the, the only way, the only key thing is to understand that it's a two-step process. So one is telling what you want to be scraped off of each individual page. That's one. And then the second is, how am I feeding in the URLs into the system so that I can repeat the, the same scraper over and over and over again? And if you run this correctly, you'll get these types of output. Now, again, I only ran this for the keyword UX UI, but obviously you can run this for multiple keywords. Um, it really matters what kind of website it is and which website has what type of keywords. Um, you can leave it blank and run it off of like New York or Los Angeles or a geographic area. The important thing is that you, first of all, tell the scraper, what data points you want to get off of each individual job listing site. And then second of all, feed in the URLs to it. So it's a two-step process, very easy, ready to go. Now, this works for a lot of sites, but there are websites that this might not work perfectly for. It really matters on whether the site has CAPTCHA, anti-bot measures, and so on. Um, but there is a little tool that we have called Hexify. So Hexify is this little icon on the top right corner here. This is the extension. It's a browser extension. And what it is basically, it's a one-click scraper. It's supposed to be the easiest tool that you will ever use. You click it and it just scrapes whatever it sees on the page. And this in includes things like Indeed or Glass Doors. And I just want to show you how that would work. So I'm going to go to Indeed here, Indeed.com. I mean, this is very random, but let's just search out nurse in New York. All right. Um, so clinical nurse, pre-surgical screening per DM and so on and so forth. I'm just going to open that page. All right. And once I have that page and I can see it, so this is what I want. And then from here, instead of just telling it every single data point that you want and automating the process, I just click on this little Hexofy extension on the top right corner. That's going to find all of the different fields that I want it to scrape, so everything that you see on the screen. And it's already ready. It's already parsed and ready to go. Click on the Export the Google Sheets button. Bam. And all that data is in Google Sheets. There it is, clinical nurse, hospital, um, you know, the location, hourly rate, all of the skills that are necessary, all the you know, necessary details, and of course, the job description. Now, the cool thing about this is that, yes, it's not automated. You have to go, sorry, when you see it, you like it, you click it. But the awesome thing is that, as you can see, I only clicked on this one, but I already had like two or three that I already did just to test it out, right? Optimum, uh, Nanotronic. So I, I searched UX UI again. And if you just continue doing it over and over and over again, for each website, like Indeed, it will put it as a different row in the same file. So it's not one file per click. It'll just combine all of your clicks into the same sort of database, and then you're ready to go. Uh, same, same goes for glass doors, works the same sort of way. Um, this works for multiple different websites. It works for like LinkedIn, it works for um, Instagram. So there's a bunch of stuff that you can do with Hexofy, uh, but this is just one when it comes off of job listings. Um, so glass doors, I'm gonna click on jobs here. Um, let's just say entry level marketing. Yeah, that's fine. It makes really no difference which one we take. We're just gonna kind of uh, take that in right now. 
So that's the page. So entry level marketing position, um, this is the salary range, this is all the description and so on. And once again, I'm just gonna click on this Hexofy button here. It's gonna capture all of the fields that I want. Click on export to Google Sheets. Bam, there it is. Entry level marketing position at Profilic Associates. Um, that's where it is, that's the estimated um, salary, and of course the job description. I already ran this a couple times again, graduate nurse, nurse graduate, and so on. Um, and again, it's just one click easy. And again, when you click on this, it'll just keep adding more and more rows to the same file based on the website. So as you can see, this is only glass doors. Uh, the one I showed you before was only Indeed, so it'll kind of collect it into these different, uh, different sort of areas and, and bubbles. So that's sort of it, um, more or less. Uh, 15 minutes is up. Uh, I promised I would <laughs> stick within 15 minutes. Uh, don't worry about it. We're gonna upload this to YouTube. We'll send over the link. Uh, and all of the questions right now in the chat, I'm collecting those and I'll make sure that um, I get to it and I answer them. I have all of your email addresses, so um, I'll definitely make sure I answer them as soon as possible. Um, in any case, uh, you'll also get an email reminding you of the second, third, and fourth uh, webinar coming up in the series where we're going to go through some really cool stuff like this. Uh, we're going to do some e-commerce scraping. We're going to do some Amazon stuff. So stay tuned and uh, hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.